Hello, my name is Matt Sneed from the Abingdon School District Technology Department. I want to take you through the steps of getting access to your student's Google Classroom. If you've already landed on this page from a link through your student's teacher or from the Abington website, then you can simply click the Google Classroom icon on the top row. If you're not here and you need to access it directly, you can go to your browser's address bar at the top of the screen and type classroom.google.com. Again, that's classroom.google.com. Now, if you've never signed in with a Google account before, then you would hover sign in up here and click Google Classroom. Now it's going to ask you for an account. This account is your child's student ID number followed by at abington.k12.pa.us. Again, that's your child's student ID number followed by at abington.k12.pa.us. All Abington student ID numbers are a five or six digit number followed by, again, at abington.k12.pa.us. If you're not sure of your child's student ID number, then please contact the teacher. Once you type in the ID number of your student, click Next, it'll prompt you for the password. Again, if you're not sure the password, ask the teacher. Now I'm signed into the classroom. If, you're joined to, if your child is joined to any classes already, the card will show up here for the classes that they're a member of. You can click the title of the card to enter the class. If you need to join another class, then you will click the plus sign at the top right of the screen. From there, you would type the code that the teacher provides. The code is a sequence of letters and numbers. You type in the code and you click join. After you join, the card will show up for the class, and then you would click the title of the class to enter. Now there's a couple other scenarios you may run into depending on how your computer is used at home. The first scenario I'm gonna show you when I click on Google Classroom, instead of prompting me to type in a Google account, it's given me the choice to choose an account. And that's because I signed into other Google accounts on this computer before. So if the one you're trying to sign into is there, then you can simply click it and log in. But you may need to click this use another account. Then from there, it's the same thing we did prior where you type in the account name followed by the password and then you're in. In this scenario, when I click Google Classroom, it actually logs me right in, but unfortunately I'm signed in with a personal Gmail account and not my child's account. When you're signed in with a personal account, you cannot join a school district class. You must be using your child's class, child's account rather, sorry. So if I was to click the plus right now while I'm signed in with a personal account and I type in the code, it's going to say invalid code. You cannot join a Abington Google Classroom with a personal account. You must use your child's account. So from here, to sign into my child's account, I'm going to click the icon and then click Add Another Account. And then it'll prompt you for this logon that we did earlier, which is your student's ID, followed by at abington.k12.pa.us, and the password. And now I'm signed in. I can verify them signed in by clicking the icon up here and seeing the Abington K-12 PA US and knowing that I'm signed in with my student's account. Another thing that might happen is you may have multiple students. You can switch between the accounts by clicking the same icon and either adding another account to add your other student or clicking the, the, the account name if it's already there. So when you click the other account, it'll take you right to it and you can switch back and forth from them by clicking the account name so again, if it's already there, you click the icon and you click the account, or if it's not there, you click add another account and then sign in with the other students, Google account and password, and then sign in. We hope this is helpful. Please contact your student's teacher or the technology hotline if you need further assistance.